I mean, Luke Skywalker, Ash Williams, and Captain Hook even. Like, it's just so cool. You realize those are fictional characters, and you're a human. Like, it would hurt. It would cost money. Well, it hurt them. They got hurt. What? I mean, Merle from Walking Dead, it pretty like, painful when he cut his arm off. Uh, you've got physical therapy. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about insurance, physical therapy. It's cool. It. It's about you cool. Got... It's about being cool. Welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. We are covering our last OP kit. And this is the Young Justice OP kit coming out in March of 2024. It's really exciting. I really like the choice and figures. But before we get into it, Simeon, they have a chance to yeah. win this OP kit. All you have to do is comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to Dial H for Hero Clicks, and then just type out whatever you want. You'll be entered into a raffle to win this OP kit, which is Arsenal, Teen Lantern, Wonder Girl, and a team up card for Wonder Girl. So without further ado, Simeon, who do you want to talk about first getting into this OP kit? We're going to get into uh, the old Red Arrow himself, Arsenal. Mm. So Arsenal, of course, he's got real name Will Harper. But uh, some of the fun things about him, he's got Outsiders and Team yeah. Player. So not only is Outsiders a great team ability, but Team Player also. There's some pretty to good team abilities some, to copy. Yeah, in pick this. some good ones, especially, yeah, in this little yeah. one by itself. Uh, the keywords he has, we have a new keyword that I don't remember seeing before, and that is Marksman. Oh, he has that's the, cool. Outsiders Team Ability, Teen Titans, Young Justice, and Martial Artist. Okay. So marksman and martial artist. Marksman and martial artist. Yeah. So now it looks like uh, sniper-esque, bow and arrow yeah. people will be getting marksmen. Get that's kind of cool. Keyword for I like the first that. Time. We haven't got a new keyword in a while, man. Yeah. That's really cool. So like he's a generic. Wow. Got one really big trait, and then the rest of his dial. Uh, he's got running shot for the first three clicks, charge for the last three. His running shot is paired with incapacitate, uh, super senses range combat expert, and likewise his charge is paired with. Precision Strike, Combat Reflexes, and Close Combat Expert. The one trait that he has gives him Stealth, Super Strength, and Willpower, all wow. three of those, which is pretty solid. And then as an additional thing, as a free action, he can choose one to use this turn. Rockets, which Rockets will give him power, so power action. Make a range attack with a single target instead of normal damage. Deal the hit character and all other characters adjacent to them three damage. <sighs> then knock back all damaged characters. Man. So okay. super energy explosion. Yeah. Really good That's top dial to combine with his ranged combat expert. So he, he'll be a 12 attack. Okay. And uh, maybe use that uh, outsiders to keep their defenses down if they've got like ESD or something. Another option for that free is laser. So rocket or okay. laser. It's a hard like choice. Two, rocket two or laser. Choices. Yeah. So another big cap power he has improved targeting through hindering and characters, and it says choose a line of fire away from Arsenal, deal one penetrating damage to all opposing characters within range along that line of fire. A lot harder to pull off, but potentially a lot more effective. Yeah. Um, this way, it'll it'll allow you to target through characters. If they're not right. all clumped up, then the rocket thing doesn't really work as well. So yeah, it's interesting little optional pack there. And then, yeah, he comes in at 75 points with five range, and he ignores elevated. So okay. Feels like a rocket, energy explosion type, area of effect effect, or a laser cutting yeah. straight through everybody. Beep, beep. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Glad we finally have Mega Man and Hero Clicks. That's, really, that's awesome. I like this as a non-baseball cap variant. Uh, oh, yeah. Will Harper, too. Arsenal here. Next up, so I'm going to talk about Wonder Girl and her team-up card. All in one go. This is the same Wonder Girl sculpt we got from the Wonder Woman set, which is really solid. We see some of that brick pattern on the ground there. So she is also clocking in at 75 points. She's got a long dial, and she is definitely your heavy hitter of the group here. She has a trait, Trials of the Pantheon. When Wonder Girl deals damage to a character with the DD keyword, you increase the damage dealt by one. So this isn't a modifier. So she has super strength. She's maxing out her plus three damage, and she hits a deity. That's technically plus four damage. So she could hit someone for eight damage right away if they're Oof. a deity, which is really cool. It's not going to be capped at that plus three to seven. With her base four damage, is already so nice. She has a special attack power that's on her last 
uh, five clicks of her dial, which is the Diamond Blade. Blades, Claws, Fangs, Slash, Slash, when Wonder Girl makes a close attack, the target's defense values can't be positively modified, so she's always going to be hitting her 11 or her 10 to whatever your defense values are. So no pluses to modifications, really cool. And then she has a special defense power on her first three and last two clicks, which is pretty simply Energy Shield, Deflection, and Impervious. This is her Silent Armor. Uh, I gotta say, I don't know en enough about Cassandra here to know where her diamond blade and her silent armor are coming from. Maybe that's because her like little mm -hmm. jacket is this is this silently armor. This doesn't look like a person with impervious at all, it's like so it's kind of cool, invisible I guess. Jet, yeah, silent armor, uh, diamond blade, lasso yeah. of truth. So yeah, and then she just got this big, heavy like beater dial. She's got the flight, the charge, the super strength, the big four damage, the empower, plasticity exploit later which is really good getting back to charge and then she gets angry on her last two clicks which is kind of fun so of course wonder woman team ability she has no super senses anywhere else so it's only on a six for her but let's go ahead and talk about her team up card so this team up gets rid of her trials of the pantheon trait so no more modify or increase damage dealt by one to deities instead it gives her team up young justice if wonder girl is part of the listed theme team young justice keyword obviously once per turn when a friendly character with the young justice keyword would be ko'd by an opposing effect you may instead turn it to its last non-ko click if you do after resolutions deal one unavoidable damage to a friendly character with the young justice keyword protected pulse waves so that way even if you pulse wave her or the group uh they won't die and they'll come back to their last click so she has a deep dial i would use this as okay keep that person alive put them on their last click they both have pretty decent last clicks so you'll kind of see that once we get into them and then maybe old cassandra here can just take a damage and she can pretty much do so without worrying too much about it because she has that deep dial so that's wonder girl yeah pretty fun i think i mean it's only once per turn, but it's you, only can, once per turn, right. you can use it every turn, potentially, it's like cool. every opposing turn, so, yeah. And then, finally, it's the Teen Lantern herself. So, this is Kelly Quintella. Oh, I okay, don't, Kelly. don't remember that name, but uh, also a sculpt from the Wonder Woman 80th set. Yeah. Also has that cool terrain, and just like a fun sculpt in general, uh, but... Yeah, of course, you've got the Green Lantern core, so you're automatically assuming a free Green, Green Lantern ring. You've got the Young Justice keyword and the Scientist keyword. So a good little taxi for Scientist because that Green Lantern team ability does make a right. comeback here. We've got Passenger 8. We've got Flight, uh, 4 Range, 1 Lightning Bolt. No special powers, but 2 traits. Hmm. So the dial is fairly simple. It's 5 clicks long. Its first 3 clicks are Running Shot, Telekinesis, Energy Shield Deflection, and then Prob for the okay. whole dial. Like the last that. two clicks, you lose the running shot in the TK, but you pick up Sidestep and Psychic Blast with Barrier. And at first, for 55 points, you might think that uh, this is kind of a squishy character, but her first trait is Teen Lantern starts the game with a charged token. When Teen Lantern clears action tokens, give her a charged token if she doesn't have one. So what do charged tokens do? You get giant size invincible, but only if Teen Lantern has a charge token. So for hmm. her whole dial, she can potentially have giant size and invincible. And then when Teen Lantern is dealt damage after resolutions, you remove the charge token. With that Green Lantern ring, yeah. she's a standard character, so she can be equipped. And then she can turn giant once she gets that charge token. And she can have I a like that. willpower that succeeds on a two through six. Which Oh, you're right. Yeah, because yeah. the ring. Okay, so yeah. It's That's very insane, fun. actually. Wow. Kind of crazy. Um, and yeah, it makes her, you know, they're going to have to hit her a couple times to take care of her because that Invincible is definitely going to be around for a little yeah. while. Yeah, you start the game with one, and then if you lose one from getting hit, all you have to do is clear action tokens. It won't be easy to clear action tokens if you make your willpower roll, though. That is true. That doesn't count as clearing. Right. That's uh, removing. But yeah, that's a Teen Lantern, 55 points. Free I ring, like it a lot. I think the Invincible is going to help her get to those higher stat clicks just mm -hmm. because of those reducers. So I like her a lot. Overall, I love this OP kit set. I think it's really fun getting Arsenal back into hero clicks after years and years and years, getting a new Teen Lantern, getting a new pretty well-updated Wonder Girl, might I add. And of course, guys, if you want this OP kit, make sure you subscribe to Dial H for Hero Clicks. Make sure you comment down below, and you'll be entered to win it. This could be yours quite a few months early since it's coming out in March of next year. Any last words, Simi, before we take off? Yeah, so you'll want to keep an eye out because we're going to soon start our 
Ooh. Christmas unboxing. Ooh. What better way to count down to the holidays? Doing a, a little one figure per day starting on the 13th and leading up to Christmas Day itself. So obviously these have already been spoiled, but you'll get to see our excitement, our, our hot takes on them, and uh, maybe some close-ups of the sculpts. So It'll be fun. It'll be thematic. And before you tear into those Christmas presents, make sure you chop down that tree oh, with your brand it. new chainsaw oh, no. on. Who needs a hand? How are you going to drive with It that? doesn't matter. I'll be driving, styling, oh, that's profiling. That's horrifying. You know how it goes, man. This has so many practical uses. 